I can get rid of this now. I'm totally sane. What is up everybody? I hope you are doing okay. I hope you give hugs to your dog. I don't know. So anyways, today we got a new one. We have a new one. I seen this, my wife seen it, and I seen it, I was like, let me let me try it. But then when I got up to the register, I was like, oh man. So anyways, we got Founders Green Zebra. Am I saying ghost style ale, or is it gose style ale brewed with watermelon and sea salt? Now, on the, wait, wait, hold it. 4.6% alcohol, 10 IBUs. Um, on the, drink responsibly. They don't serve founders in the clink. Well, there you go. Um, on the box, it said, a tart with sweet and stuff like that. But I, it's a ghost style beer. It's gonna be sour. Exactly what's gonna happen. Onions are a member of the Lily family. There you go. Well, okay, it looks like a regular beer, but it ain't it ain't telling us nothing. I can smell some stuff. Okay, a nice head on it. A, bit, a little bit of a darker yellow, slightly darker yellow. You know what I don't I smell a little bit, very little. I don't know why I smell more back here than I do up here when it's up in my face. But I smell sour, so it's, slight, it's just slightly hazy. And I got a 15 pack of this, so if it doesn't taste good, I'm giving it away. We'll see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I hope it's sweet. I hope there's a little bit of sweet in there. They got some watermelon in there, so there we go. surprising very surprising okay it is a little tart and sweet I thought it was just gonna be flat out punch in the face tart no I get some watermelon in there what else did they say was in there sea salt all right that that's not bad that isn't bad it's now the more I drink it am I gonna hate it I don't know but I will tell you what does Swiss steak and Russian dressing have in common they're both made in the USA no they weren't they were invented in the USA there you go this is okay it, it, it it gets, it, it makes you constantly like your mouth water. And it's like, my gosh, what the heck? So, I got a few of them. So I'm gonna give a couple to Joe and have him try them. And man, this is, uh, it, it's okay, but I probably wouldn't drink more than any, than two. Than two a day, three a day, that's it. But, cause it's not my, not my thing of sour beers, and that's what's coming out now, or it's it been out for a while, and I just don't don't care for sour beers. What would I rate this one on? You're not even liking sour beers, but this one I kind of do. Uh, one to ten, I give it a five, six, maybe. I'll give it a five. No, a six. I'll give it a six. Fine. We'll go up one because it is a good beer. I like Founders. The Founders does a lot of good beers. Very a lot of a lot of very a lot very a lot of good beers. Yeah, and this is this is not one of my ones that I like. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like these beers. That's why they're making them. You know, and also if a walrus eats enough, it could be wider than its than its length. Well, oddly enough, that goes with humans too. So, it's not bad beer. I wouldn't buy another 15 pack because it's not my, my thing. They didn't sell it in 16 packs. They didn't sell it in 18 packs. 
They didn't sell it in six packs or 12 packs. They had only 15. And usually you go into a store and they'll have like the singles. I'm surprised they didn't do that with this beer because when we're grocery shopping and, and I, I stop over there and she says she's seen it before. And I said, I'll give it a shot. So there you go. And for the last one, very thin or weak ice is known as cat ice. Why? Because it can't support the, the weight of another, of, of one cat. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Up.